Galaxy S25 Ultra has four prototypes in testing, based on the latest trenders, the original design is similar to the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Samsung has apparently started work on its Galaxy S25 series early, with the latest information surrounding its next year's top-end model, the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Based on the newest renders that are now being compared with one another, it appears that four prototypes are being tested, with each version sporting a different dimension than the other, which we will dive into immediately. Four Galaxy S25 Ultra models with variations in frame size and bezels are apparently in testing, though Samsung is likely undecided about which model to choose. An unnamed source has provided Panda Flash with what appears to be the potential design of the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Since there are four prototypes that are rumored to be in testing, four separate trenders have been illustrated in the image below, with each version touting a distinct variation when it comes to bezels and frame size. For instance, the first trender on the left has a similar frame to the Galaxy S24 Ultra but the Galaxy S25 Ultra features slimmer bezels, whereas the render right next to it has an even smaller frame, with the same screen-to-body ratio. From the renders, we have learned that at least during the prototyping stage, Samsung will stick with a punch-hole front-facing camera for the Galaxy S25 Ultra that is in the same position as the Galaxy S24 Ultra's front-mounted shooter. Overall, there will be minute differences between the two models. And since Samsung is sticking with the same rectangular shape as it has for a few launches now, it will be difficult to tell the two flagships apart unless if they arrive in different colors. Also, there are only so many changes that a company's design and engineering team can employ. As far as its specifications go, the Galaxy S25 Ultra may launch exclusively with Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 4. However, Given that the SOC is said to be more expensive than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, Samsung may adopt a dual chipset launch with its premier flagship, possibly opting to announce it with the Exynos 2502. However, for that to happen, the Korean giant's own SOC must be on par with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 while exhibiting the same power efficiency metrics. The post on X does not mention which design Samsung intends to stick with, but we will have all relevant updates ready for our readers in the future, so stay tuned.